I would like to begin this video by greeting you with the greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace of Allah be upon you, his mercy and his blessings. In this video, inshallah, we're going to be talking about, God willing, the concept of Jesus in Islam, Isa in Islam, and also some of the misconceptions that people may have. I'd like to talk about Jesus, or as we say in Arabic, Isa. Those two are two names for the same person, and it is just the transfer of languages as the name comes from Aramaic into Arabic or from Aramaic to Hebrew to Greek to Latin and into English. They, the two names sound quite different, Isa and Jesus, but they are broadly uh, the same name and they are certainly referring to the same person. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. While we are talking about different names, I will also be referring to the mother of Jesus, peace be upon her. And in Arabic, her name is Maryam. And of course, in English, her name is Mary. And I will use those two names interchangeably as well. I would like to talk to you about the Muslim belief regarding Jesus, regarding Isa, peace be upon him. And I would like to talk to you with reference to the Quran. And the Quran is the final revelation to mankind that was given to our Prophet Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and upon all the prophets and messengers. So with reference to the Quran, I guess where we should start is we should start with the birth of Maryam, the birth of Mary, alayhi uh, salam. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon her. Uh, when Mary's mother gave birth to her, she originally thought that it would be a boy and she had intended that the boy would grow up in service to God in the in the temple, uh, serving Almighty God. And she said, as Allah tells us in the Quran, when she gave birth to her, she said, My Lord, I have given birth to a female. And Allah, Almighty God, knew better what she had given birth to. And the male is not like the female. And I have named her Maryam. We say in English, Mary, and I seek refuge for her with you and for her offspring, lest they be harmed by a shaitan al rajim, by the outcast, the devil who is outcast. And Allah accepted this supplication from the mother of Mary, and she grew up in the care of Zachariah, Zachariah. And he took care of her and many miraculous things happened around her. Allah tells us in the Quran, when Zechariah or Zechariah, when he would come into the room that she had dedicated for herself for prayer, he would find that she had provision with her, she had food with her. And he would say, Oh Mary, oh Maryam, where is this from? She would say, it has come from Allah. Allah provides whoever he wants without any account. And this is what we call uh, karama. That is a, a miracle that is given to someone who is not a prophet. Uh, but it is something which is not uh, normal. It's not within the, the normal things that happen in the universe. And it's given to those who are the beloved of Allah. And we know that Maryam, Mary, she was beloved to Allah 
And she was extremely honorable and truthful. As Allah said, وَأُمُّهُ صِدِّيقَةً His mother, she was a Siddiqah. She was at the highest standard of truthfulness and belief. The highest standard of truthfulness and belief. And indeed, our Prophet Muhammad wasallam mentioned Maryam, Mary, among the very few number of women who completed their faith, had absolute complete faith. And she was one of them, Mary, the daughter of Imran and the mother of Jesus, the mother of Isa alayhi salam. So we now come on to talk about the birth of Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him. Allah tells us in the Quran in a surah named after Maryam, named after Mary, called Surah Maryam, a chapter of the Quran that is named after Maryam or Mary. Allah tells us, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَرْيَمَ إِذِ انْتَبَذَتْ مِنْ أَهْلِهَا مَكَانًا شَرْقِيًّا Remember in the book, the story of Maryam, of Mary, when she secluded herself from her family in a place to the east. فَاتَّخَذَتْ مِنْ دُونِهِمْ حِجَابًا فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيًّا And she took a veil to separate herself or a partition to separate herself from them. And we sent to her our spirit. This it means the angel Jibril, the angel Gabriel. And this doesn't mean as... Uh, people might mistakenly understand that the spirit is a part of God or part of a trinity. Rather, the spirit here is Gabriel, Jibril, and he is a created spirit. He was created by Almighty God. He's not part of God, and Muslims don't believe that Jibril is one of a trinity or that he is a part of God. Uh, rather, for us, Ar-Ruh, Al-Qudus, the Holy Spirit, uh, or Ar-Ruh Al-Amin, the trustworthy spirit, is the angel Gabriel who was created by Almighty God and is not God himself. And he appeared to Mary as a man. قالت إني أعوذ بالرحمن منك إن كنت تقيا. She said, I seek refuge with the most merciful from you. Of course, Maryam, she was incredibly chaste. She kept herself separated from people. She didn't mix with the opposite gender. And so when she saw a man in her private place, she sought refuge with God from that man. If, she said, if you really do fear him. In other words, keep away from me and separate yourself and be distant from me. قَالَ إِنَّمَا أَنَا رَسُولُ رَبِّكِ لِأَهَبَ لَكِ غُلَامًا زَكِيًّا He said, I am only a messenger from your Lord. And that shows us that the angel Gabriel, angel Jibreel is not part of Allah. He's not a trinity or, or he's not God. He is a messenger from God that you may be given the gift of a pure child. قَالَتْ أَنَّا يَكُونُ لِي غُلَامُ وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْنِي بَشَرُ وَلَمْ أَكُ بَغِيَّا She said, how can I possibly have a child when I haven't been touched by any man and I am not an immoral woman? قَالَ كَذَلِكِ قَالَ رَبُّكِ هُوَ عَلَيَّ هَيِّنْ وَلِنَجْعَلَهُ آيَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَرَحْمَةً مِنَّا وَكَانَ أَمْرًا مَقْضِيًّا He said, this is what your Lord has commanded will happen and it is easy for him. And this is really important to understand that we as Muslims believe that Maryam was given the gift of this child, of Isa, as a miracle from Allah, that 
child did not have a father. God was not his father and he's not the son of God. And we're going to come more to that, inshallah, later on, God willing. But it is a gift from Allah. And that's not difficult. And actually, we're given an amazing example in the Quran with regard to Jesus, peace be upon him. إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَىٰ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ آدَمِ خَلَقَهُ مِنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ The example of Isa, of Jesus, in the sight of Allah is like the example of Adam. Of Adam. He created him from clay and then said, be and it is. Now, the meaning here is that just like Adam didn't have a mother or a father, Adam was not the son of God. He didn't have a mother or a father. Likewise, Isa didn't have a father. He only had a mother. And so just as we believe Adam was created without a mother or a father, so we believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, was created without a father, with only a mother. فَحَمَلَتْهُ فَانْتَبَذَتْ بِهِ مَكَانًا قَصِيًّا فَأَجَاءَهَا الْمَخَاضُ إِلَىٰ جِدْعِ النَّخْلَةِ قَالَتْ يَا لَيْتَنِي مِتُّ قَبَلَ هَذَا وَكُنْتُ نَسْيًا مَنْسِيًّا She conceived the child as a miracle. It was no father involved. The father was neither a person, like people say Joseph or whatever it may be, nor was the father Almighty God. And Almighty God has not taken a son. And we're going to come even, we're going to focus on that, inshallah, in, in a moment as we continue our discussion, uh, God willing. But he was conceived without a father, only a mother. And that was a, a decree that was, it was a matter that was decreed by God. And that's not difficult for Almighty God who can do anything. So when the pain of labor took her, it took her to a date palm tree. And she said, how I wish that I had died before this and I was something that had been forgotten. فَنَادَاهَا مِن تَحْتِهَا أَلَّا تَحْزَنِي قَدْ جَعَلَ رَبُّكِ تَحْتَكِ سَرِيَّا وَهُزِّي إِلَيْكِ بِجِذْعِ النَّخْلَةِ تُسَاقِطَ عَلَيْكِ رُطُبًا جَنِيَّا فَكُلِي وَاشْرَبِي وَقَرِّي عَيْنًا And then a voice called out to her from underneath her and many of the scholars said that this voice was the voice of Isa. السلام, some of them said it was the voice of the angel, not to be scared and that to shake the, the, the date palm and that soft dates would fall down upon her and that she should eat and drink and be content. And then she was told, if you meet anyone on this day, say, I have sworn to the most merciful that I will be fasting. And I will not speak to anybody today. The fast was an, an oath of silence. So you imagine that Maryam in this situation, she has sworn an oath of silence. She's carrying a baby that nobody knows where the baby came from. And now she has to go back to her people. فَأَتَتْ بِهِ قَوْمَهَا تَحْمِلُهُ قَالُوا يَا مَرْيَمُ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْئًا ثَرِيًّا يَا أُخْتَ هَارُونَ مَا كَانَ أَبُوكِ امْرَأَ سَوْءٍ وَمَا كَانَتْ أُمُّكِ بَغِيًّا she goes to her people carrying the baby. They said, Oh, Maryam, you have done a terrible thing. They presumed the worst. You have done a terrible thing. Oh, sister of Harun, your father was not an evil man and your, woman, your mother was not an immoral woman. They've accused her now. They've thought badly of her because she's brought the baby that she's carrying. 
فَأَشَارَتْ إِلَيْهِ She pointed to the baby. قَالُوا كَيْفَ نُكَلِّمُ مَنْ كَانَ فِي الْمَهْدِ صَبِيًّا They said, how can we speak to someone who is just a child in the cradle? How, how shall we speak to the child? And then Isa alayhi salam, Jesus peace be upon him, he spoke and he spoke as a baby, this was one of his miracles that he was given as all of the prophets were given. And in this miracle, he spoke as a baby. <laughs> he said, I am the servant of Allah. And this is the most important thing you can learn about the Muslim belief about Jesus, peace be upon him. A servant of Allah. A prophet of Allah, a prophet of Allah, a servant of Allah, but not the son of God. He said, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me scripture and made me a prophet. He's given me scripture and he has made me into a prophet. This is what Muslims believe. The scripture, the prophethood and the miracles of Isa, peace be upon him. And those, inshallah, we will talk about. In a moment. He has made me blessed wherever I am. And he has commanded me to pray and to give zakah, any obligatory charity, as long as I'm alive. And he's commanded me to be righteous towards my mother. And men, she didn't mention a father. There is no father here. And he has not made me a tyrant, nor has he made me wretched. And peace be upon me on the day that I was born and the day that I will die and the day that I will be resurrected alive again. Now, the resurrection here is not the resurrection which people believe happened in Easter. Rather, it is the resurrection on the day of resurrection, Yom al -Qiyama. As for the idea that Jesus died and was resurrected, then we as Muslims do not believe this. We believe that they tried to kill Isa. They planned to kill him. As Allah said, وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ وَمُطَهِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَجَاعِلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ They made a plan, but Allah made a plan and Allah is the best of those who plan. When Allah said, O oh Isa, I am going to cause you to depart from this world and mutawafika here doesn't mean to die, but you will cease to be on this world or in this world. And I will raise you up to me and I will purify you from those who disbelieve and I will make those who believe and who follow you above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. And as Allah said, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They didn't kill him and they didn't crucify him, but they were made to believe that they did. It appeared to them that they did. Some of the scholars said that the one who betrayed Isa, Jesus, his face was transformed by a miracle. So they believed that they had taken Jesus and that they had crucified him. But it was only uh, something that was made to appear to them like that. And it wasn't what actually happened. Allah Azza wa Jal said, Subhanahu. 
إِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ فَاعْبُدُوهُ هَذَا صِرَاطٌ مُسْتَقِيمٌ This is like a summary of what Muslims believe about Isa alayhi salam. This is Isa ibn Maryam. This is Jesus, son of Mary. The word of truth about which they differ. It is not for Allah to take a son. Exalted is he in perfection. If he decrees something, he only says to it, be and it is. And Allah is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him. This is the straight path. What about the miracles of Isa? Allah tells us about these miracles and tells us that they happened by his permission. إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى بَنَ مَرْيَمَ اذْكُرْ نِعْمَتِي عَلَيْكَ وَعَلَى وَالِدَتِكَ إِذْ أَيَّدْتُكَ بِرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ تُكَلِّمُ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِ وَكَهْلًا وَإِذْ عَلَّمْتُكَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَالتَّوْرَاةَ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ وَإِذْ تَخْلُقُ مِنَ الطِّينِ كَهَيْئَةِ الطَّيْرِ بِإِذْنِي فَتَنْفُخُ فِيهَا فَتَكُونُ طَيْرًا بِإِذْنِي وَتُبَرِهُ الْأَكْمَهَ وَالْأَبَرَصَ بِإِذْنِي وَإِذْ تُخْرِجُ الْمَوْتَى بِإِذْنِي O oh, Jesus, son of Mary, Allah will say, remember my blessing upon you and upon your mother when I helped you with the pure spirit. And the pure spirit here is Jibreel, not a uh, part of a trinity, but the angel Gabriel. And you spoke to the people in, as a baby in the cradle and in maturity. And when I taught you the book and the wisdom, and I taught you a Torah, well, Injil, the Torah and the gospel. And when you designed from clay in the shape of a bird by my permission, and you blew into it and it became a bird by my permission, and you cured the, uh, you cured the blind and the leper with my permission. You cured the blind and the leper with my permission, and you brought out the dead back to life with my permission. All of that were from the miracles of Jesus, peace be upon him. And there are other miracles that are mentioned in the Quran. But those miracles all happened, as Allah said, be idhni, with the permission of Allah. Just like Musa, Moses, with the stick turning into a snake and parting the sea and so on. Just like the miracles that all of the prophets had. The miracles of Isa alayhi salam were just that. They were miracles given by Almighty God and they don't make him the son of God. That is what Allah made easy for me to mention in this short video today regarding Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus, son of Mary in Islam. And I hope that I've cleared many misconceptions and I hope that I've given everyone food, to th food for thought as it relates to the concept of Isa, Isa and, and what we are required to believe in when it comes to him. Uh, that he is a noble prophet, that he is not the son of God, that he is not deserving of worship, but he is deserving of being obeyed and followed as the prophets were, and indeed to consider the message of the last and final prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and that is the message of Islam. And I leave you with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace of Allah be upon you his mercy and his blessings.